and welcome back to the THB layout update this is a quick update on the uh, detection system and signaling system system that I will be installing right now we just uh, got the areas where I'm going to be cutting the gaps so we'll go through that a little bit here all right right here will be two signals these are mock-ups Coming along here, we have section B, and then section C. We have a gap cut right here, and there's going to be another signal. It's a double gap here, cut on both rails, right across. And then section C will be detected, and it will have 12 blocks in it. Okay, now, this is going to be one block right here up to that pin, red pin. So everywhere I have a red pin will be the start and finish of a block. And the switches are not detected. And I only cut one rail. In my case, it's gonna be the red. And the black is gonna be common through the whole section C. And each, there's gonna be another signal there. There's another red pin indicating start or finish of another block there's another one and we're moving along and there's the switch is not detected it's isolated I guess it will be wired in separately and then we come along here to CNR diamond. Okay, when the CNR comes up on this track, it'll be a push and pull. So when the train comes up here, there'll be a switch here. The front engine will park. The back engine will put all the cars and push it up here. And when it's finished, it'll come back, hook up and go down underneath the layout it'll be it'll be cut out over here so it will go back down underneath the layout and moving along there's another section this little piece here is detected then this little piece here is another detected and this part here is not going to be detected at all moving along into the Fergus Street area Back there is going to be Fergus Street freight shed, and over here is going to be a small container yard. And then we got another area for detection right here, and then over here for the helix, and then over here for the other helix, which will be going up, and this one's going back down underneath. All right, so that's just the way I planned for blocks in the detection system and like I said I'm only going to be cutting you're only supposed to cut one rail in my case it's going to be the red one and then there'll be a black common through the whole section C and I'll be using the uh, DBL 168 for local occupation detector and there's the diagram that I'll be using. There's the uh, DBL 168, and there's the uh, common comes. I should say this is the common here. This is going into the detector the circuit board. Comes the comp this I should say the tongue tied here no this is the power coming into the detector and these are the ones coming out to each individual blocks and this is the common rail all right so that's basically how you wire it up and like I said I'll we'll be only cutting one rail and that will be the positive and the negative rail which will be the black 
will be continuously going on underneath the layout. Okay, the drawer that I'm pulling out over here is where all the electronics are going to be sitting. Over here is the PM42. There will be another one over here. And over here we have the BDL168. And there should, there's going to be another one over here underneath it. Now over here, this terminal block, section C is the common. And here is going to be the section C that's going to come over here to this board, the DBL168. And from there it's going to come into the terminal block and from the terminal block it's going to go to the individual sections. So this is just a quick update, like I said, on how it's going to be wired. Here's the PM42 and the DBL168. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please post them. And as I proceed with the uh, wiring and the hookups, I will make a couple more videos on how to and show you some of the uh, wiring underneath. And like I said, if you have any questions or comments, please post them. And thank you for watching.